Hey guys, welcome back. So, a couple of videos ago, I mentioned that after I did my South Bend clutch and upgraded the hydraulics, there's no place to mount the clutch reservoir, and I told you that I was working on something. So, today's the day I get to show you what I've been working on. So, it's still in prototype phase. I have a couple of them out there, um, a couple of buddies of mine with trucks, just kind of testing them out, making sure there's not going to be any issues with them. And if all goes well, my plan is eventually to sell them so right now this is like a, a prototype release I would say but I just wanted to show you guys what I've been up to right there is the mount so it's pretty sturdy it's made out of um, PLA plastic which I 3d printed I got a 3d printer at the house so I designed everything up in CAD um, sent it off through 3d printer did a bunch of design changes and I finally got one that I was happy with. It mounts using this factory tab that's on the firewall, so there's no drilling, no tapping, nothing. Um, it's all nice stainless hardware, both for the main mount flange and up top. Um, there's a nut that's embedded into the plastic up top where that one mounts to. So you'll notice that this is your relay box for trucks with auxiliary switches, and normally your connectors would be right there. So you may be thinking, all right, so I got a nice place to mount my clutch reservoir, but how about the ports for where the aux switches connect to? Well, I got you covered there as well. So another relocation bracket, it uses um, all the factory mounting um, clips that these connectors mount to, so this pad, if it'll focus. Real, uh, this piece here used to clip in with these two tabs here that you can see on the side of this box. It now gets relocated back here. And then same deal, you remove a Christmas tree push pin here that holds down your plastic cowl tray. And again, there's a hole in the firewall already. This mounts through nice stainless hardware, nice nut, and that's mounted out of the way. You can still have access to your plugs. As you can see, I have wires plugged in there now. That one's for the BD2 low kit. But there you go, um, keep an eye out if you have a G56 truck and you're looking for one of these, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you'll be the first one to know when they are finally released and I'm going to be selling them. So I know these are made for fourth gen trucks, which there's not a big market for, but I'm going to be checking up to see if they'll work on third gens as well. I know they have the same tab, I just don't know if there's room um, side by side, which I imagine there would be because these trucks are a lot more compact than third gens. But that's what I've been working working on. You know, it's pretty solid. So let me know what you guys think. It's got Talb Industries in both of them there. So you know it came from me. And that'll be it. So be on the lookout for future videos. That'll be the official release on these.